Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to start, a, uh, I guess we can call it a tangent, uh, a series of beers that are uh, not craft beer, are Japanese, not craft, but from the uh, four major companies, and also one other unusual characteristic, they are either low or non-alcoholic. And I'm going to be taking a look at uh, all of the beers that the four Japanese majors make. And those four are Asahi, Kidin, Sapporo, and Suntory. And we'll look at all the available beers that are non-alcoholic uh, from them. Except one, which hasn't quite made it to my area yet, uh, which is a new one. Um, Non-alcoholic beer, or low-alcoholic beer, of course, has a very long history. Uh, in medieval medieval Europe, it was uh, something that was called small beer. Um, and it's been around uh, in many countries uh, for a long time. Uh, during uh, Prohibition in the United States, uh, uh, beer was made uh, under 5%. Uh, and, of course, homebrew was made. Uh, um, so the temperance movement had an effect uh, on, on the production of, of beer, of course, uh, it eliminated beer production, and and uh, people were looking for something that tasted like beer. Uh, in 1990, uh, Anheuser Busch produced Odules, which became a big hit, and Miller had their Sharps beer as well. Um, this kind of beer is very popular in certain countries in Europe, Germany in particular, uh, and of course in the Middle East. Uh, uh, where alcohol is frowned on or banned. It's uh, non-alcohol beer is uh, one half of all sales of beer. Um, and uh, we'll be looking at uh, the characteristics of non-alcohol beer and then uh, in different countries which are popular brands and then finally Japan. Um, these beers are uh, commonly lagers, but uh, nowadays you'll find pale ales, IPAs, uh, stouts, wheats, sours, all kinds. Um, and uh, I'll, sh uh, I'll uh, put a link to an article, uh, a couple of articles actually, uh, in the description section so you can read more about this if you like. Um, uh, so, uh, in many countries, non-alcoholic beer is by far the most, uh, the fastest growing sector, and that is true in Japan as well. Um, uh, young Japanese are not drinking uh, alcohol as much as their elders have, and beer sales have been declining for like 16 years in a row. Uh, so, uh, and in fact, a, a bar a bar opened in Tokyo called Zero Percent, and it's uh, apparently the first complete non-alcoholic non-alcohol bar in uh, in the country. Um, why well, it's popular for its health benefits, of course, but uh, unpopular among many people for a variety of reasons, and the most common is the taste defects. Um, the processes that are used to make non-alcohol beer uh, lead to a loss of aromatic esters, which are a prime feature of of, of the aroma uh, in beer, and also changes some other compounds as well. So, basically two, two uh, ways of uh, producing non-alcohol beer, and uh, one of them is restricting fermentation, and the other is removing the ethanol alcohol uh, from the beer. And uh, restriction of fermentation can take a variety of forms. I won't go into all of them. Uh, some of them are, for example, interrupting the fermentation or cold fermentation to, uh, to you know, very low temperature fermentation to uh, inhibit the production of alcohol. Um, special yeasts to try to uh, produce a low alcohol beer. Um, and ethanol removal, there are a number of uh, ways to do it. Vacuum evaporation, vacuum distillation, um, extracting through membranes, filtration, uh, reverse osmosis, uh, so many different types. And I, I read a few articles about this and I uh, I didn't quite understand many of them, so uh, in any case, um, breweries, there are a number of breweries that uh, have produced beers uh, these days, and you can find them uh, you know, listed many places, and you can find them in your market probably. Uh, Brewdog has produced Nanny State, uh, 
uh, why, why hens death on our uh, have a Weizen, alcohol free is another one. Um, uh, rate beer uh, didn't allow them before, but now they do under low or no alcohol beer, uh, and they have three categories, pale, dark, and wheat. Um, and so a variety of, uh, you know, very respected breweries are producing these weird beard, uh, Tiny Rebel, Schlenkerla, uh, the smoke beer mavens in uh, Germany, McKellar, and uh, here in Japan recently Kyoto Brewing, uh, one of my favorites, uh, Kyoto Brewing produced a 1% uh, Saison, and, uh, uh, which is just uh, maybe a little bit too high to be considered, uh, but uh, actually I think on rate beer it's up to 3% for low alcohol. So. Um, and the beer is called Rebel Without a Cause. Uh, in Japanese, it's uh, uh, Waka Geno Tari, which is translated as youthful indiscretion. Um, so 1% Saison even. Uh, and some of the beers that we'll look at are, are made without fermentation. Uh, they're called Beer Taste Inro, or Beer Taste Beverage. And uh, so, um, in general, the, the limit to be considered in this category is uh, up to 0.5%. Um, and we're going to look at uh, a number of beers from these four Japanese breweries. Uh, in 2009, Kirin brought out their Kirin Free, which is a big hit. And then Asahi brought out their Dry Zero, Asahi Super Dry, was the most popular beer in Japan. It still may be, I'm not sure super dry and they brought out dry zero uh, and that became number one in sales for all non-alcohol beers and I think it is currently. Um, so uh, Asahi has three that we'll look at. Kidding has four and Suntory also has four and Sapporo two and we're going to look at uh, four other beers that are contracted beers for the Japanese market. Um, and uh, when, there's one more by Asahi, which is called Beery, B-E-R-E-R-Y, B-E-E-R-Y. And uh, it's been released in certain areas of Japan, but not where I live. So uh, we'll look at that a little bit later. Okay, so uh, now, so we're going to start with Asahi, uh, three alcohol-free beers from Asahi. And then we'll move on to Kirin, and then Sapporo, and Suntory. Okay, and let's see what we get. Okay, I'm... Uh, I can't say I'm really looking forward to this, but uh, we'll give it a go. Okay. And now we're going to begin a series of beers uh, from Kidding Brewery. And these are uh, four non-alcohol beers from Kidding Brewery. And the first one we're going to look at is this one. It's called Kidding Ichi. And actually it's called Kidding Rei Ichi, which uh, zero, zero Ichi. And the reason for the name Ichi is that it uses the, apparently it uses the same method as Ichiban Shibori, uh, the method of producing, uh, which they, they say the first pressing of the wort, uh, which really doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but in any case, it's a non-alcohol version of Ichiban Shibori. And as you can see here, zero percent alcohol and uh, zero, uh, zero carbs uh, so it's uh yeah so uh we're gonna give this a go on uh, rate beer this one has no ratings whatsoever on untapped 422 and the average is 1.87 out of five very low so don't have big expectations for this okay it is a very typical and a medium gold straw color with a less than half a finger of frothy head. You want to try this? I don't. Okay, the nose. What do we get? It's got kind of a light, sort of a light, uh, perfumey, fruity nose. Something like sweet grapes, apples. Definitely apples. Almost like apple juice. It 
and the flavor is very typical uh, thin kind of cardboardy sort of denatured uh, malt you know that's been sort of scrimmed and screened and and slammed into nothing uh, has some fruitiness certainly the hops are minimal um, the body is very light not quite watery almost actually compared to some of the others uh, we've had uh, in this uh, series of non-alcohol beers uh, this is not a bad one or should I say it's not uh, it's the best of the worst so far. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, you may want to give this a try. It's available all over Japan in uh, every supermarket probably and liquor store. Uh, and it's called uh, Kirin Zero Ichi or Rei Ichi, depending on how you want to say it. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, we're going to look at a few more Kirin beers in our next few videos. Tune in for that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about low alcohol beers or non alcohol beers. Okay, if you have had them. Okay, apparently they're fastest growing segment in the beer market in the world. So.